What's up? What's going on, people? It's the Black what Quarterback up, what Forum. Up? What's up? Me and my man Smeez. I'm jerseyless today, people. I couldn't decide on what jersey to wear. Trust me, I had one. I didn't want to put on Cowboys because y'all think I'm a Cowboys homer anyway. Because Smeez always talking about, it. but I'm not. So that's the reason. But the Cowboys didn't have a good win, though. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> what we're gonna do now? The Black Quarterback Forum YouTube channel, Black Quarterbacks in Effect .com website. So we're gonna break it up in three sessions. First two sessions gonna be about the league in general. Because it's getting down, well, we say it's a third of the season with 17 a games. A quarter. Yeah, a quarter. We six weeks in, six, 12, 18. Yeah. There you go with the math again. I know 18 is the only place 17, but we about the third of the season. Yeah. But anyway. If you're breaking it down to three. Right. Maybe right. That's six coming to play. Right. I like quarters. You like quarters. All right. So, but so we're going to talk about the league in general for two sessions. Then our third session is going to be about the play and performance of black QBs. So with that being said, just the league in general, there was some major upsets over the weekend, huh? There was. There so, was. In some eyes, there was. <laughs> some eyes, we expected it to happen. You expected the Browns to beat the Niners, huh? And the Jets to beat the Eagles? I don't think so. I, I wasn't sold on the Eagles like everybody. I, I thought that was so. I thought I wouldn't bet, bet, bet on it or use it, but I definitely thought that was a tough game for the Eagles to see what they had. You think uh, Jalen is regressing, huh? I heard some interesting yeah. conversation about Jalen. I mean, that's crazy, though. Just one bad game. Well, he has had more than one bad game. So I think, but he's 5 and 1. He was a 5 and 1. Yeah, yeah. So empty calories. Empty. At 5 and 1? Yeah. But your team is 5 and 1. If your combined win percentage against you is 20%. Of how the teams that, that they five beat. And one? Yeah, yeah how you know, see, that 5 that, and 1. That's. You and know, I don't know if that's statistically statistically correct, but I'm just <laughs> they haven't beaten any good team. You know, so that, that's the interesting thing to me about football, right? Because now we get into that second, third, or whatever yeah. second quarter in these next games where some yeah. teams have identified getting too close, identifying who they are. Yeah, they are. So we got some interesting games coming up. We're gonna talk about right. We, we got some we very interesting games we coming do. up. So, but I thought. The Browns beating the Niners, man. You know, because I don't like the Niners anyway. But um, that ain't got nothing to do with it. But <laughs> I want the Browns beating the Niners. We're going to back up to the backup. He's the third or fourth string. And they got the all-black quarterback room in Cleveland. And Ravens, the only other team with that. So, they, P.J. Walker, right? He wasn't yeah. on it. Was he on there to start the season? He was to start the season. Right. Okay. Then he got relegated to the practice squad. Well, he was kind of as the third practice the third. squad. And he got bumped up. And they didn't have much faith in DTR. I feel like ain't you no know, sense of throwing balls. him to the rule. The wolves, like, right? Don't want like, to crush his feelings. That's a tough start. Anybody starting out against Baltimore is going to be a tough start. Just statistically speaking, a rookie against Baltimore, I think, has like a sixteen percent win percentage. So, PJ so it's going to be a rough game. You know, I ain't check. He's but he ain't a rookie, right? No, he's not a rookie. So it, it's yeah. the difference. You you kind of experienced it, and at the end of the day, that offense it ain't what matters. The biggest thing is the defense. What can your offense do against that defense? Because if you can't talking about the opposing offense against the, the opposing offense against, against, against the San defense of not San Francisco, but Cleveland's defense. Cleveland's defense. Okay. If you offensively can't move the ball against that defense, you're going to put yourself in the line of fire for L Boogie. Yeah, and it, it was some passes missed. There was some I mean, pressure. But then the Cleveland lot. D, we was just rewatching that game. It was on NFL Network. I'm sure everybody out there got NFL Network. They was re-showing that game. Yeah. Cleveland D made some mis miscues. And actually, the Niners had a chance to win that game, right? Late, the kicker missed the field goal. That's football. It happens. But they're not Does invincible. It happen? The coach kicker made four, five, 50 yard field goals. <laughs> Here, Here we go with the coach. So, kicker. does it happen? Yes, it does. It does happen. <laughs> in Cleveland. It does happen. <laughs> with their new mascot. It does happen. It does happen in Cleveland. Brownie the Elf. <laughs> so, I thought that was the bigger of the upset. And then, once again, in these games, we got some crazy coaching decisions. And nobody wants to take the points anymore, right? And it's, to me, a lot of take the points now. Like, I don't know what analytics is playing into it, but it's getting to a point kind of with baseball where sometimes analytics can go too far and go way left and can steer you the wrong way. Like, I feel like the Chargers a couple times going for it on fourth down, but it seems to be their norm going for it on fourth down. It's just a lot of calls where it's like why not take the three points right like second quarter third quarter in games where points matter like right 
And if you're trying to get a yard, what happens just line up with the biggest people on your team and punch them in the mouth and go on a yard down the field? What, what, what happened to that in football? Because you got to get that. Now they got them guards that's trying oh, to get man. to the linebacker. Now they expect you to get to the safety. So, I mean, you can't. Ugh. Give me a yard. Man. Move the 360-pound D tackle, Aaron Donald, and get to the safety. You got to give and give. You need a yard. You, why are you trying to get to the safety? Just get a yard. Because they're going to yeah. put all 360 pounds right there, and you ain't built for that. But so another, you can't pick up that, y'all. All right. And another upset that I know you want to talk about was Texans over the Saints, because you like the Saints so much. I do. Mm -hmm. And I like the Texans. Slight right. weight rooting for the Texans. C.J. Stroud, Ohio State. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He, he's the only rookie of the black quarterback every week, though. I, I think, <laughs> I mean, is he competing with anybody? <laughs> At this point, Richardson out for the season. And I mean, Bryce Sean <laughs> handing off to me and throwing to you. So, you know what I'm saying? They like, like, Texas yeah. Yeah. good. Even on his worst day, he's the best. But but over, that was in Houston? That was in Houston. Houston. And they, yeah. and they beat the, the mighty Saints. The Saints... I feel like Minnesota went terrible and they terrible right now, but I feel like the Saints have replaced Minnesota. <laughs> Where it's just a whole lot of offense, a whole lot of yards, like th two yards in a cloud of dust. Like right. there's a whole lot going on other than the scoreboard and the points move. I ain't never had faith in Derek Carwood, but see, to me, I don't care how good that defense is. He ain't putting up points. But the entire second half, all you have was two field goals scored in the entire second half. But a whole game? Second half. For the Saints only. Saints kicked one and Houston kicked one. <laughs> scored <laughs> half time. Scored half time was 20. <laughs> or scored half time was 17 to 10. Final score was 20 to 13. That's what like, I told you. It was a just bad, a bunch bad, of three and outs bad, on both. offenses were but last then weekend. Derek Carr, Derek Carr had 300 yards passing. Like, it's just like Three mm -hmm. how? Where? Where'd it go? I see a bunch of three and outs, a bunch of punts. Like, where'd this three hundred yards go? How'd you get it? Like that's what I'm saying. So offenses were like it was it's crazy last weekend, some of the offenses and their productions and what they were doing. So anyway, that's some of the upsets that we had talked about and thought about, I should say. But the Jets and Eagles though. The Jets and Eagles. We didn't really dissect oh, the Jets oh, and Eagles. Bad. You know the Jets and <laughs> Eagles. I know you, know, I thought, you had Eagles damn near I did, number one. I see in the NFC. One, number two. Well, one oh, A. Okay. They so might drop down to six. They might have dropped down to six. No, no, no. I got no not all well, list, I got the on my list. I list. I know. They might have dropped down to six after that. Five and one. Jets Jets again, because you're beating up on fifteen plus fifteen hundred teams. No, look. Like, okay. Wasn't there some suspect calls by the offensive? Don't put yourself game? in that situation. Oh, that's all I'm saying. You're why, playing why, an why inferior team with ball. no quarterback. No quarterback. You're playing an inferior team. Don't put yourself in a position like that. Speaking of no if you're a dominant team, you should dominate the opposition. If you're talking about aspirations for Super Bowl and you're yeah. the best team, you should dominate the opposition. In every game Baltimore <laughs> played, they number one in the AFC <laughs> because every game they played, <laughs> They were in control of the Except game. Except the, the game where game. the kicker had four field goals. No, four. we forced them to kick five 50 yard field goals. We in control of that game. But he ain't going to make them again, and he ain't going to make them ever again in his life. But anyway, we were in control Eagles of the Jets. The Eagles, what, but, where I'm going with it is the Eagles ain't beat shooting. nobody. Okay. They ain't beat nobody. So that five and one is is a steroid five and one. It ain't for real. It ain't no substance to it. No we got 50 calories in the record. That's empty calories in the record. There's because, no substance. Okay, so like I was saying, we get to that part of the season where, well, they're playing the Dolphins. So what, what kind of chance you give them against the Dolphins this week? I mean, both of those teams is suspect. So what, what I'm saying, okay, if you got pick one, you're a betting guy. What, which team you betting with? I mean, the game, the, game in know. Philadelphia, the game in Philadelphia. It's a nighttime, primetime game. If, if – they got to have the pink shoes on. Carter going to be back on the D-line. As a bet man, I'm going to bet my money on Philadelphia as a bet man. Okay. I'm going to take Philadelphia, and they're still number five wow, in the NFC. But you just talked all that. You know, two of them going. It's the, we still on like the dry track. We still two, you don't let the – you don't let the Panthers jump up 14-0. That, that was so they would be interested in the game. 
That's and they, and they just wanted to. I, I told get it because they did. Okay, they, so the next people, five possessions was all touchdowns. Right. Like, see, this is the reason so, they let the Panthers up fourteen up. Because had the had Miami went up by any score, nobody would have watched. By going, letting the Panthers score fourteen, the empty stadium showed you no one was interested <laughs> in the game. So the Dolphins <laughs> players wasn't even interested in the game. But at the end of the day, okay. you got that dog mentality where every game counts. Every game, right. you Every can't game. take that game off. But he would pick the that Eagles. game could be the difference of now you got to go to Buffalo, now you got to right. go to Kansas City in right. January. It could be that difference, and you're not winning that game in January and December in Buffalo. You know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. You know. we gonna see. That's, uh, that's it for this session about the league. We'll get back at you. We got some other things to get to you about, but we'll be at you in a moment. Take care.